Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my series Azure ML Prompt Flow and in this video I will explain you how you can execute your flow conditionally based on certain conditions you want to execute one node and based on some other conditions you want to execute another node. So how you can perform this if else kind of action that's what we are going to see today. So in order to get started you have to create your workspace which is inside the M machine learning studio and get your compute instance ready. In my case, it is already up and running. Then I also, I also made sure that I have my connections ready so you can create any connection based on your requirement, like whether you are with OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, or even serverless. So in my case, I am going with Azure OpenAI. So these are the two connections I have created. Then I have also configured the runtime, which is up and running. Now the question is, if you don't know how to make the all these things up and running then i would recommend you to go and check out my series which is let me point you to that this is my entire series on azure ml prompt flow wherein you will get videos getting started videos you can just watch these two videos and you will understand how to come up with this initial setup but there are many other videos feel free to just surf those as well but let's get started with the one which we want to do today. So let's go ahead and create a prompt flow and I will go with the standard flow. Let's give it some name, let's say F3. Now if you don't want to use this portal then you can also do the same thing using VS Code. So I have already created a video on how to get started with prompt flow in VS Code wherein you can create your nodes, you can visualize your node, you can do almost everything whatever you are doing here in the VS Code itself. So, but using portal makes your life very easy, just you need to click here and there, write few lines of code and things are up and running for you. Okay, so this is the uh, flow which got created and make sure that you select your runtime if it is not already selected. Then we have these few nodes which are already created and what they are doing here is it is taking input uh, input from the user, telling the joke and displaying back to the user. So now we don't want to do this. This is just a sequential flow wherein this node is ex executed, after that this node and after this node. So, so let's go ahead and create a new node rather than utilizing these existing one so that we will go ahead and delete those ones later. So I'm going to add Python node here and give it a name. Let's call it as decision maker. So this is the node who is going to decide uh, what action needs to be taken. So here you need to write some logic like what logic do you want or how do you want to take your decision. So I'm just going with the bare minimum. I will say if uh, if length of input 1 is greater than 4, then return true, else return false. So let's go with this logic, but definitely in real life you may have some complex logic based on that you want to return a true or false. And here instead of string, it would be bool. Okay, next we will go ahead and configure what would be our input. So input would be the query string provided by the user. So I would just set it to this. And as soon as I set this, you can see that now the input is pointing to my decision maker as well, along with the previous nodes. Okay, so once this is done, now I need another two nodes which we are going to execute based on this decision. So let's add another node here and we'll say no joke so this is the node which will execute uh, whenever decision maker is saying false okay and that triggering condition we can set it over here there you can see activate config so here we want to activate this node only when decision maker output is false Okay, so now you can see at the same time arrow got connected between these two and if you want you can just type in some message here so that you will get to know okay this node got executed. 
Okay, now next thing is I need another node which is again a Python node or the tool you can say wherein I will say tell me joke, tell me a joke, okay. Okay, now for this one I will set configuration as whenever the output of the decision maker is true then only execute this. So by setting this configuration we are making sure that Sorry. We are making sure that any one of these nodes will be executed. Let me quickly go ahead and delete those existing nodes. So we don't need this joke and we don't need this echo as well. So now we have a completely clean board. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do some more things. Now we need output kind of thing which will uh, print it for you. Now this output block will have a response from both of these, no joke and joke. So what we will do is we will go to this output and we'll set joke and the output would be no joke output. Similarly, I will add, let me map it to joke output and here I would create another output variable and this I will point it to no joke output. So now you can see the graph got changed accordingly. Both are pointing to this one. So let's quickly run this and I will just type in some connection uh, uh, query string here which is toys. So user wants something on the toys and one thing we missed is to so tell me a joke. In this we need to just uh, say Let's go with the default one as of now. Later on, we will extend it. So I just want to make sure that things are up and running. So it is passing. Looks like we didn't set the input properly. So let's go ahead and set the input for this. So the input for this would be our topics. So inputs.topic here. Similarly for joke, I would say now how we are setting this is completely based on the parameters we are passing over here. So this is what we have done. In fact, we don't need to set this input as a joke because we don't want any joke. So let me change that. So I don't want any kind of input here. So I will just remove it. And save this. It is still saving. Let's give it a few more seconds. In fact, I can remove this one as well. Validate and parse the input. And you will see that the input is no more available. Now this is the graph which we are getting. So let's run it once. So. You can see the nodes are executing. Cool. So we provided the input as toys. So it means that our no joke block should get executed because the condition here is it should execute tell me a joke only when the length is greater than 4. So let me quickly show you the output here. Here you can see the output is by. Similarly, if I will change this to something like books and then if I will run it, you will see that this time instead of no joke, tell me joke got executed. So it's going on. Let's give it a second. Okay, it got completed and you can see bypassed is this one, no joke. And this is the output, I am a joke. So this is a very basic flow, but let's say you want to extend it. So right now I'm just uh, writing the simple flow. We are not utilizing LLM or anything. So if you want to extend this flow to utilize LLM, what you can do is this particular node, tell me a joke. This we can point it to the LLM. So what I mean to say is let's add another tool called LLM and here we'll say LLM joke 
let's add it and here I will be adding connection string which we have already created and we can say max token let's restrict to 150 okay so you are a helpful assistant and as a user message what we can say uh, give us tell me a let's make it riddle tell me a riddle on this so here instead of question we need to change it to our variable which is topic so it means now we should have let's validate and parse it once okay so i need to it's completely optional response format if you want you can do it otherwise not so here we have mentioned topic so you need to provide where the topic is coming from so topic is coming from the inputs so let me pull these nodes over here so that you can see everything okay so now we have input but next change what we want is we want this llm joke to be executed only after this block tell me a joke so it means this should get this uh, this should come this side and instead of tell me a joke we want it to be here so it means that we need to point decision maker to our llm joke so let's go back to this and say activate config and here i would say decision maker output is true then tell me the joke so now this is what we have now so you can see that whenever decision maker uh, this node will get execute it will try to do these three actions so definitely you can delete this one but uh, let me point this one to the output first and then we'll delete it so let's go to the output block again uh, this is the output and here we'll go ahead and add let's call it llm output and this is the jokes output so now you can see that everything got connected to it now if you want you can completely get rid of this one tell me a joke because i just created this for the demonstration purpose so let's remove this step and this is our final thing so what we understood with this is so whenever user will give input decision maker will take a call whether to tell a joke or not and this decision maker is having a logic that whenever the input string is of great uh, length greater than four then only tell me a joke otherwise just say no joke so this is what we did let me quickly execute this and validate it once so all this magic is just how you are configuring your parameters and how you are returning the values from your individual nodes okay looks like something has failed let me go ahead and quickly validate the output joke for the flow is not correct so because it is still pointing to this one so i need to remove this as well because we have removed the node but we didn't remove the mapping of this output variable cool so it's running and i gave out uh, like input as book so that's the reason it is executing this particular side and here you can see the llm output is something this whereas no joke is having no output let me try this with a smaller string let's say just book in this case you should not get an output from llm rather it should just tell you something from the no joke So it got executed and you can see that this time you got output under the no joke. So that's all I have for today and if you really enjoyed watching this video then make sure to subscribe my channel if you have not done already and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.